years ago, a group of American Muslims began thinking, what if? What if the Imams in our mosques aspire to reach eloquence in Arabic, but also in English? Or what if, along with the timeless texts of our tradition, they read about the political, ethical, and philosophical issues of today? What if, even, a well-rounded Muslim education became an intellectual foundation not only for Imams, but also for Muslim attorneys, entrepreneurs, teachers, community activists, who learned to be as familiar with the principles of their shared faith as they were with the details of their livelihoods? What if a Muslim education could be a liberal education, a purposeful education designed with a provident end in mind? Then we stopped thinking, what if, and asked, why not? Why not a Muslim liberal arts college? Our scholars say matters are based upon their aims and purposes. The purpose of the education we wanted to offer was to give our students the intellectual and spiritual tools to pursue lives of thought and reflection with humility and with piety. Our goal? To build a college committed to the common good based upon sound reason and sound revelation. All over America, we heard people asking what was wrong with our educational system. As Muslims, we wanted to show people what could be right about an education that drew from the integrative and universal approach of our tradition. Our tradition challenged us to teach the most important subjects in the best way and promised that if we did, our students would flourish. We believed the promise and Zaytuna College was born. How would we do it, some questioned. We answered by appealing to you to help us grow. And you responded, first by tens, then by hundreds, and then by thousands, because you saw the same bold vision we saw. You introduced your communities to our first academic program, a summer Arabic course that continues to attract students from across the nation. You were the first to read the mission of the new college we envisioned, a mission that proposes moral commitment for our students, and describes an Islamic education rooted in the Western liberal arts tradition. And you were there to welcome our first group of undergraduate students, young pioneers who also saw that same bold vision. In our classrooms, we could feel the energy. Our students plunged into the ocean of Arabic and learned how to compose well-crafted essays in English. They learned about early Muslim creed, but also about contemporary challenges to classical theology. They made their own sundials in astronomy class, examined competing theories in American politics, and debated contentious modern issues like the death penalty in America. Outside the classroom, they shared meals and ideas, joined other colleges for service and dialogue, and attended frequent talks by visiting scholars. And around us, a college began to emerge, but something was still missing, a campus Muslims could call their own. Until now. Today, inshallah, we're ready for the next stage, to move into our own campus and settle in as part of the American educational tapestry. On Holy Hill in Berkeley, California, we found a campus that will help us make this defining transition. The hill is called Holy because it's home to a constellation of religious colleges that represent the world's faith traditions. This is where an Islamic college should be, at the heart of a meaningful engagement of faiths in our increasingly interdependent and pluralistic world. The beautiful red brick campus we found presents our faith and community with an opportunity to make a great leap forward. It features a spectacular sanctuary that can be converted into a main lecture hall. We would have a prayer hall, a library, an art gallery, computer labs, administrative offices, as well as up to eight classrooms, large enough for 25 students each. This campus accommodates all of this and more. This year, we'll be traveling the country going from city to city and asking our community to dedicate bricks in support of Zaytuna's future. We need 7,000 bricks to move into our new campus and another 12,000 bricks for our academic programs. Each brick represents a $1,000 donation. We need your help to do this. You can pray for our success. You can tell your friends and family about us. And you can join other visionary supporters across America who are investing their hard-earned money into this venture. Islam is beauty, devotion, purity, and culture. Muslims have always been people of prayer and poetry, of dedication and education. It is time for us to renew our commitment to that tradition. Not tomorrow, but right now. Because wherever Muslims have gone, 
They've built institutions of learning to cultivate the mind and the soul. We believe we are in a time when such schools have never been more needed. Robert Maynard Hutchins, a 20th century American educational theorist wrote, if one college and one university, and only one, are willing to take a position contrary to the prevailing American ideology of materialism and suffer the consequences, then conceivably, over a long period of time, the character of our civilization may change. Join us in helping change the character of our civilization, one brick at a time, and one student at a time.